Hey guys, welcome to RC TechWorks. And today, well, we got another T480. But this time we didn't get the cheapest one from eBay that we could find. Instead, we got, you know, one that is supposed to work out of the box. But is it worth, you know, buying a totally broken one and fixing it? Or is it worth to just get one that already works? And today we are going to find that out. All right, so on the left, we have our $70 one from eBay. And on the right, we have what basically around $200 is what we paid for this. And so far, they do look both very similar. $70 one did clean up pretty nicely, as you can kind of see. Both the lids look very similar. Really, the only difference is you can see is the height because this one has the extended battery, which is amazing. It gets such good battery life. But of course, if you guys watched our first video, we did have to replace the keyboard with a aftermarket one, and it just does not compete with the OEM one that this one has because this keyboard actually still works, which is fantastic, whereas this one we had to replace. Both of them do have the fingerprint sensor and they both have the same track pads. But I did notice on this one, it looks like this one might have a card reader because the card reader slot is at least, or cover is at least removed. So maybe it has it in there, I don't know. But these both have the Intel Core i5-8350U in them. So it should be a pretty good performance. And I'm pretty sure they both have 16 gigabytes of RAM because we upgraded to 16 gigabytes of RAM on the $70 one and it is much faster now because it is running in dual channel and if we go over to $200 one also 16 gigabytes of RAM and it is also using both of the slots which means this one is running in dual channel and they are both running at the same speed so that is very nice if we look over here at SSDs, we can see the $200 one has a 256 gigabyte SSD and it is a Samsung drive, which is very nice. And if we come over to the one that we put in, it is also 256 gigabyte, but we did buy the cheapest one and it is not Samsung name brand, but it is brand new, which is nice. So overall, these are basically the same machines same screen, same track pads, same pretty much everything else. And this one, we do have the dual batteries because it does have an internal one. And of course the external extended battery that we saw, which should make the total watt hours to about 75 watt hours of battery life. And running on a very efficient chip here, you should get tons of battery life, which we have tested it basically full load on this thing and we can easily get two hours of battery life out of it, which is pretty crazy. On this one, since the internal battery is the only one that is in here, and it is the original, which means that it is degraded quite a bit, so we do not get as good a battery life on the $70 one. So that is a win for this one. But of course, if you buy a $200 T480 on eBay, you might not get that extended battery. All right, now let's talk about some issues. Of course, this one had a lot of issues with the broken keyboard. It needed an SSD for storage and it needed to be cleaned out because it was absolutely disgusting. Whereas this one should just be all working. But I did notice something. If we go here to check the batteries, you can see here, Battery one says 0%. In other words, battery one is not detected and it is using battery two right now. So I wanted to do some looking to see if the internal battery is actually in here. And if it is, why is it not detecting it? Which it should be because we have tested it by removing the external one and it still runs. So battery one is there, but for some reason it's not detecting it. So maybe during shipping, the battery cable maybe came a little bit loose and it's unable to sense that it is there. Hopefully that's the case. 
Let's open this thing up, give it a good clean and look over to see if there are any future problems that are gonna be with this, rather with this. All right, so we got them both opened up here. This is our $200 one, then this is the $70 one that I bent the heat pipe on. <laughs> Which I can bend it back pretty easily, but it's fine. All right, so looking for some differences here. Now I did see that the card reader is actually here on this one, which is very nice. And of course on this one, it's just a blank cover. So this does have the card reader in it. Although I don't know what you would use that for unless you were for like a working for a corporation or something like that. So I don't know. And then I also noticed that the batteries look different too. And this one is starting to puff up a little bit, so that is not good. But you see this one is in a lot better shape. Still solid. But you can see they do look different. And they, you know, they both say Lenovo on it. So I'm assuming they're both from, or made by Lenovo, but not certain on that. Maybe you guys can tell me down in the comments. All right. Now let's check under the RAM here. You can see there is a RAM stick on that side. And there is one in this side too. Look at that. And let's see, but of course we do have Wi-Fi, which is very nice. And this is where the external battery connects. So overall, they look very similar inside. Let's see. All right, and it does look like it uses an M.2 in the two and a half inch bay. So the same as what we did. So it's awesome that it's not a SATA SSD, but it is an M.2. I mean, yeah, look pretty similar. I will replace the thermal paste on this one because I don't know when that was done or if it has ever been done because I did do that to this one and it gets really good thermals. We didn't test the thermals on the $200 one, but I'm just gonna do it anyways, since I don't really want to have to maintenance these for a good couple of years. So let's change the thermal paste right now. All right, so I'm thinking that this battery is bad, which is why it's not being detected and it is a bit puffed up. So it probably does need to be replaced. But for now, I am just gonna unplug it and see if that will get rid of the error messages that always pops up because we do have the external one and this laptop will mostly be plugged in for its life. All right, let's put the cover back on. And screw it all back down. Again, I love the captive screws that they use in the bottom cover so they don't fall out, which is very nice. All right, there we have it. And it is put back together. Let's make sure it still turns on. <laughs> and it looks like it does. Oh my goodness, go away, Microsoft AI. <laughs> All right, now that it's turned on, let's see if it still sees that battery or the internal battery. And it looks like it says not present anymore, but it still detects that there is supposed to be two batteries in this system, which is pretty cool. So far, it hasn't showed us the error warning that battery one 
is at 0% charge. So that is great. So I think it, this thing will run just fine off of the external battery. And of course, this thing will be mostly plugged in for the rest of its life. So I think it will be fine. But there's one more thing that I need to do before deploying this laptop. And that is installing Windows 10 LTSE. If you guys do not know what Windows 10 LTSE is, it is basically the enterprise version. And basically it gets more security updates and well, not really more security updates, but it basically just gets security updates instead of all the feature updates. Therefore, it runs more stable and Microsoft supports Windows 10 LTSC until 2030. So it gives us a couple more years of Windows 10 support, which is very nice. So to do that, first need to shut it down and then I can plug in my Windows 10 LTSC flash drive. All right, finally in here. Turns out it was just secure boot stopping us from installing Windows. Maybe it's secure boot, but it should be fine. But for the LTSC version, it's basically the same as the normal Windows 10 edition. And so we will just buzz through this quick. Hey, check it out. We are in. And so far, everything's the default, which I do need to activate it. And I will do that in a little bit. And one thing that you guys need to know about Windows 10 LTSC is that if you do not activate it, it will turn off the computer every hour. As in, if it's been running for an hour, it will shut off. So you need to make sure that you activate it, but it's not that expensive at all. If you go to websites like WhoKey and some other like Windows activation sites, you can buy a license key for Windows 10 LTSC for like 20 bucks or something. So honestly, it is not that expensive to run this version. And some say it is cheaper than paying Microsoft to get an additional year on Windows 10. So it is pretty good, but I will say it is also based on Windows 10 from 2021. And so some software doesn't like that and says that you need to update your Windows version to like 22H2 because this is technically 21H2. So just to let you guys know that you might run into some compatibility issues, but for us, it will work great and it is just the bare bones i mean look at that and guys look at this you see this microsoft edge right click uninstall and there it is edge is no longer installed pretty cool right so that's one of the perks of the enterprise version is that they let you uninstall basically whatever you want to. So there you have it. Well, there you have it folks. We tested to see if spending more money on a working ThinkPad T480 was worth it over buying one that needed some TLC. And overall we spent about $160 on fixing this one up and the course that is including the price of the laptop itself. And for this one, we paid about 200. So it does seem 
that this was the better buy to buy and fix it. But on this one, we did get the extended battery and we didn't have to replace the keyboard. It still has the OEM keyboard and it feels so much better than the re Chinese replacement one that we had to get for this one. So, you know, you save 40 bucks, but you do get some extra things on this one. So honestly, I think the value is about the same, but of course we did get a pretty good deal on this one. Usually uh, a laptop that we got like this goes for around $100. And by the time we did all those upgrades and things, you're honestly not saving a lot. So you could buy a T480 that needs some work, or you can spend a bit more money up front and get one that's already working. It seems to not really matter. Not one or the other is a better buy, I guess you could say. So that about wraps up this video. And we are honestly loving these laptops, hence why we got another one and might even get more in the future. I don't know. But stay tuned for the next episode and I'll see you guys later. Bye. I would wave at you guys, but my hands are full. <laughs>